All right, got kind of actually a serious video for you. Kids furniture, nothing to mess around with. A lot of this stuff is pretty top heavy. And so in this video, I'm going to be securing my son's uh, dresser. You can see here a solid piece of wood. And this is what he is in the habit of doing. And of course, when he's reaching for toys and whatnot, or see something kind of back there, you kind of think, well, how could this possibly? But check this out. I mean... It's known to happen, and if you check the stats, Google the stats here, uh, it's pretty serious business. Furniture can absolutely fall on your kids, so I'm going to be DIY securing this. You can certainly buy a kit, uh, but I'm just going to be using some common tools, including a stud finder, some pretty long screws because I want to uh, basically secure this thing into the stud in the wall, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So your situation obviously will be a little different, different piece of furniture, different setup, but the concept is similar, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is back out the dresser from the wall and identify where along the wall the studs are. If you drill into drywall, not going to do a darn thing. You're going to really need to secure this strongly to a stud and you can knock on it to see, kind of listen for the hollow places if you don't have a stud finder. But And I'll put some supplies and everything down in the description below. Everything you need for this project for the most part can be found there. Now, you could use some brackets like this, some little plastic or metal L brackets. I have a book stand over here that I have secured. So if you're looking to secure a piece of furniture like this, you just want to make sure that's out of sight, right? So you can see that's kind of tucked away, or at least it's matching in color. For this piece, I'm not going to be using an L bracket because there's not a great place to secure it. If I had a taller piece of furniture, I could use an L bracket like this and drill it right into the top and it's kind of a above the line of sight, so it would be hidden, but this is a shorter dresser, right? Uh, but you can see that concept is, is the same. It might be a good idea for you. So you drill it into the top, drill it into the wall first, obviously, and then push the front piece of furniture uh, against it and drill in through the top. So that could be a, a, a good way to secure. If not, so what I'm gonna have to do here is kind of push the dryer or the, the dresser back against the wall and I had already marked my stud right there. And so, mark that a little more clearly, just so you get an idea of what I'm, what I'm doing. So that's kind of the stud location, more or less. And you've got about, you know, an inch and a half of play. It's a two by four back there with the two inch side facing you, but it's actually an inch and a half in reality, they call it a two by four, but the measurements are actually a little less. And I'm kind of eyeballing it. Now you could measure from the wall to, but I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it and I'm gonna put a pilot hole through the thick piece of wood. Now there's paneling down below. I don't wanna drill through that. I'm actually getting a, a thick frame piece of the wood there. So we've got a good inch or so of solid wood on the dresser that I'm going through. And we'll poke it through and you can see that pilot hole hit right there. So looks like I'm a little, little off. So we'll kind of adjust that. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, like I said. And I can patch these drywall holes. They're super small holes. So I just need enough to get that screw through. And I'll talk about the size of the screw and what type of screw I'm using, but yeah, here it is actually. We've got a washer and a two and a half inch deck screw. I like these because they're super aggressive and they'll uh, give a lot of bite into the wood as opposed to like a long drywall screw or something like that. So wood deck screw, definitely the way to go with a washer attached to it. And that washer just prevents the screw head from going through the wood, gives it a flat surface to compress against. So we'll go ahead and drill that. Get that all the way in, and you're gonna feel it grip and go, and that top of the dresser is gonna suck all the way to the wall as you tighten that up. You don't need to over tighten it, but you're gonna see, see we're pretty close. Let me get a better view for you so you can see it actually go into the drywall hole. Get that aligned correctly. And I have my drill on the lowest setting. There we go. And watch it just suck up to 
the wall and compresses pretty tightly. And that is pretty much it. You can test it out. Go ahead and try to jiggle the top, right? I'm even having my little helper here pull out the bottom drawer and he's going to stand on it. We're just going to test this. I want to sleep pretty well tonight knowing that this is not, when he's playing in his room, he's not going to uh, tip this thing over. So with supervision, of course, and I certainly don't encourage him to do this. <laughs> Maybe I'm giving him ideas, right? But nonetheless, we are sturdy. So that is the DIY way uh, that I secured this particular dresser. Of course, you're going to have to look at your context and make your own decisions what's best for you. But that is the idea. And hopefully this helps you out. We'll put the drawers back in and call it good. Thanks for being with me. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if this video helped you. Thanks.